five. Okay. Okay, y'all, I think I've managed to get through the technical difficulties. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Paula Pepper and I own juicyjournaling.com. And today I'm going to unbox two uh, Navilar uh, fountain pens that I ordered. And the first one is the Navilar Original Plus Matera Quartz Fountain Pen with a double broad nib. And then the second is the Navilar Original Plus Lovina Graphite Fountain Pen. One is black, one is white, and it's got sparklies in it. Um, I'm going to ink one with Rainbow's End and the other with Marion Bright from Diamine Ink. So let's get started. I'm going to pull this one first. And this is the Navilar Original Plus Lavina Graphite Stub. And there's the pen. And this is a vacuum pen. So what will happen to fill it is I will... Uh, unscrew this and then put it into one of the ink bottles and then it's got a little plunger mechanism that'll push the ink up into the pen. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see there's a little bit of sparkle in the pen. It's got rose gold accents and the nib is also rose gold. And this one is a stub nib. Um, which is a 1.1 stub. Um, it's one of my preferred nibs. I, I just really like a nice broad line when I'm writing. Um, you can see that the this has the uh, this also has the little bit of sparkly quartz uh, in it. Um, a really nice pen. It's got it's got good length, good good heft to it. You can post the cap right on the end of the pen like this. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to unscrew, let's see if I can get that to focus in, whoops, focus in. I'm sorry, I'm not used to doing this, but I'm gonna pull this up and that's gonna bring the plunger up to the top. And then I think I'm gonna do this one in the Marion Bright, which is a green kind of shimmer ink. So I'm gonna shake this up a little bit and then open this up. And then what I'm going to do is stick the pen down in the, like this, and then I'm gonna push the plunger in and you can't really see it, but as I, whoops, that's pushing the ink out. It's, as I push the, the um, plunger down, it puts ink into the chain. Now I can go ahead and adjust this and add more ink to it. I'm gonna leave this the way it is right now, um, just to keep it brief. And then I'm gonna put this back on because I will knock it over and then we will have ink everywhere if I don't. Um, and then the other pen that I got, is this little gem right here. And this is the Navular Original Plus in Matera Quartz. It's got a double broad nib, which I'm not sure what that means because I've never seen a double nib, broad nib. And I looked at the broad nib that I have and this one and they look the same to me. So I'm not sure what it means when it's double broad. Um, I, I have a question. I'll, I'm going to send Navular a question so that I can um, find out kind of what the difference is. But again, this has got a little bit of shimmer in the resins and in the cap. And it's, again, a rose gold. And this time I'm going to ink her up. Tighten that lid just a little bit, get that out of the way, and let's shake this one up. 
I'm going to ink it up and I am going to use Rainbow's End from Diamine. This is another shimmer ink, so I'm shaking it up pretty good before I fill the pen up. Okay. And then I'm going to untwist again. And then I can pull the plunger up. Stick it in and then push it down. And when it gets all the way down, it'll, oh, it didn't fill it up that time. Evidently, I need to do that again. Why is this not filling up? There we go. I got a little bit of ink. This one's a little bit trickier to fill up for some reason. I'm just not really, I'm really not used to vacuum filled pens. I, I usually have a, a twist pen, but there's the ink for that one. And I am again going to put the lid uh, on so I don't spill it all over the place. And I've got a couple of notebooks over here so we can see what these look like when they write. Let me wipe this off so we don't have ink going all over. But you can see, you can see there's a little bit of shimmer. There's a kind of a red shimmer to the purple and then there's a gold shimmer to the green. Okay, let me move my keyboard out of the way. And when I ink up my pens, I, I keep a journal and I just write in them. Um, and unfortunately, you're going to see me write upside down. So first one up is the Lavina Graphite Fountain Pen. So let's get this going. Let's get this going back here. There we go. And and what I'm doing is just writing the name of the pen and the color plus the nib. No plus. Lavina Graphite. With rose gold trim. And this one is the stub nab. Okay. And whoops, where did I put them? Let's post the cap on this one. And then this one, let me write in the back here so I can, there we go. That one's got good ink in there. Let's see what this looks like. Navular. Original plus, whoops. This is the Matera Quartz.
And this one has the double broad nib. Inked with diamine. Oops, rainbows and oh, you guys can't see that because of how I had it turned. So let me turn this around. So. This is what the stub nib looks like. This is what the double broad looks like. I do have one of my other pens, which is an, also an original plus. I think this one has the, um, the broad nib on it. So let me write with that. Oops. Fabular original. Uh, or I can't spell today. Original. Plus. With broad nib. So that's the double broad right there. This one's a little bit lighter. I mean, I'm not seeing that much difference between the two nibs, um, but I will, I'm going to ask uh, Navular what the difference is and how much weight difference in weight I should be saying between the lines on these two, um, just because I'm curious. I mean, there's a good amount of difference between the stub nib and the double broad nib um, and the stub nib and the broad nib, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference between the double broad and the broad. Um, so will I get another one? I don't know. With the, with the double broad nib, I don't know. Um, I do like the, I do like the broad. Um, and I don't think there's that much of a difference. So that's my thoughts. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some writing projects this weekend, and I'm going to be doing a lot of handwriting. So I'm, I've got everything inked up and ready to go for the weekend. So y'all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Okay. End stream.